Good morning, good morning. Today is April 3rd, 2022. Today we're going to examine <clears throat> one of our weapons. We're going to examine the weapon known that we know that we call the Holy Bible, God's Word. We're going to start in Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12. Chapter, I'm sorry, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Familiar passage to some. Said, for the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even the division of soul and spirit and joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Powerful. God's word is powerful. It's one thing is first said, it's living. If God's word is living, that means that it can be used in any circumstances and anything that we're going through. See, God's word is not dead. God's word is living. That means it's relevant in any time at all time and powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword. So that metaphor there, how sharp it is, how, how it can cut through things. It says it's sharp enough to pierce the vision of soul and spirit. Soul and spirit. Your soul and your spirit. Whew, joint and marrow. You got to have a fine, fine knife to cut between joint and marrow. But we want to focus on the sharpness and the power of God's word. And it's living and can be used in all circumstances. That's the focus of our weapon, God's word. Now, we jump to Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. I'm not going to read them all, but I'm going to show you how you use God's word. In this passage of scripture, we're talking about Jesus in the wilderness, Jesus in the wilderness being tempted by the devil, being tempted by the enemy. When we're in our wilderness situations or when we're in, in situations, temptation comes upon us. This is how we fight it with our weapon, with our sword, with God's word. The devil was tempting Jesus. And I want to hark on these big words. In verses 4, verses 7, and verse 10. Jesus answered, but he answered and said, these three words here are the key. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Verse 7, Jesus replied, it is written again. Verse 10, he says, away with you, Satan, for it is written. Key components every time Jesus answered Satan. He said, it is written. The word, the weapon, he used it. He used it against Satan every time the enemy tried to trip him up, up, trick him into some false sense. He used his weapon. Now with us, when the enemy is giving us a false sense or trying to put us in a situation that we know is not good for us, use this weapon. Use God's word. See, that's the key. We don't have to try to come up with anything new to fight the devil. We got a whole book of it right here. Whole book. Chapters after chapters. Verses after verses. For any and every situation in life, it is in here. Find you some. Memorize them. Be ready to use them because the enemy, he comes continuously, continuously seeking out who he might attack. But when we have God's word, when we have this weapon, when he have a weapon that's sharper than any two-edged blade, sword, we can defeat him. We can say, as Jesus said in verse 10, fully in verse 10, Matthew verse 10, this is the full reading. 
King New King James Version. Then, then Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. The enemy wants us to serve him, but it is written that God, God alone is the one we shall serve. We serve him by using this word, doing right. The enemy wants us. Matthew chapter four, verse 10 says otherwise. Serve God. Use your weapon. Have a blessed day, my brothers and sisters. Amen.